Voyager 2 Pro in the sun's protective bubble, which is called the heliosphere. The Voyager 2 spacecraft has finally bid farewell to our solar system. Voyager 1 and 2 were built in the 70s to explore the gas giants to the outer edges of the solar system. Voyager 2 just detected something deep in space, and scientists are freaking out. This isn't a glitch. This might not even be natural. In the endless dark beyond our solar system, something strange just happened. In 2023, NASA's Voyager 2 launched back in 1977 and now over 18 billion kilometers from Earth, picked up an unexplained burst of signals. Not just noise, but something patterned. Intelligent, violent, unnatural. Whatever it is, it shattered everything we thought we knew about deep space. And now, scientists are asking a terrifying question. Are we truly alone out there? Or has something found us first? We have ignition, and we have liftoff of the Titan Centaur carrying the first of two Voyager spacecraft to extend manned senses farther into the solar system than ever before. When Voyager 2 officially crossed into interstellar space back in 2018, the world celebrated. I mean, this was a spacecraft launched in 1977, now drifting beyond the heliosphere, still whispering back to us from over 18 billion kilometers away. For decades, it had traveled silently through the outer reaches of our solar system, sending back faint but steady signals, nothing out of the ordinary, just the low hum of deep space, until it wasn't. In late 2023, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory noticed something Strange. Telemetry logs flagged massive spikes in high-energy particles, and not just any spikes. These bursts were over 10,000 times stronger than solar flares, gamma ray bursts, or even coronal mass ejections. At first, engineers figured it was just a glitch. After all, Voyager 2 is nearly 50 years old and running on limited power. But here's the thing. After diagnostics came in from multiple directions, the readings were confirmed. This wasn't a malfunction. The data was real. And then it got even weirder. These particle bursts weren't random. They followed perfect prime number sequences, symmetrical waveforms, and even Mandelbrot-like fractal patterns. Some of them eerily resembled mathematical languages used in MEDI, that's messaging extraterrestrial intelligence. Like, what are the odds? So now the scientific community is divided. Was this just a rare plasma anomaly in interstellar space? or something far more intelligent, an engineered signal meant to be found? Whatever it was, Voyager 2 had stumbled into something unknown, something alive with intention. It didn't just whisper, it pulsed with purpose. And that's when the quiet panic started to build. Because if something out there is broadcasting, well, it might mean someone or something is trying to get our attention. What happened next shook the scientific world to its core. These particles shouldn't even exist at this scale, and yet they were there. Astrophysicists had long anticipated Voyager 2 might one day pick up faint whispers from the deep, a flicker of background radiation, maybe the ghost of a long dead star. But what they found was a terrifying deep space anomaly. These weren't just energetic particles, they were impossibly energetic more intense than anything recorded from a supernova explosion, more structured than random quantum noise. I mean, at first, skeptics claimed it was a simple Voyager 2 glitch, maybe software corruption after all these years in space. But here's the thing, the spectral data told a different story. These bursts of energy weren't just strong, they were organized. There were rhythms, gaps, signal patterns, almost like a cosmic code. When experts at CERN and Fermilab ran the numbers, they were stunned. The energy profile didn't match any known cosmic ray or burst signature. It looked eerily similar to something straight out of physics theory, a galactic particle accelerator. And not just any accelerator, something on the scale of the Large Hadron Collider, but billions of times more powerful, and floating out there in the interstellar void. The implications, honestly, downright terrifying. Was it a naturally occurring phenomenon we'd never encountered? Or was it a machine? And if so, who or what built it? Panic started brewing in the background. Government agencies went into full containment mode. NASA, ESO, ISRO, 
Even Roscosmos, every major space agency, joined forces under something called the Interstellar Emergency Coalition. Billions of dollars were poured into deep space probes and cosmic anomaly investigations. Long-range satellites were redirected. Cryogenically preserved AI models were reactivated to run advanced space simulations. The James Webb Telescope scanned the region 24-7. Even the ISS was rerouted to monitor for strange echoes. Yet, nothing. Only Voyager 2 could detect the signal, and that sent chills down every control room on Earth. Why Voyager 2? Why now? Was this a focused alien signal aimed at Voyager and only Voyager? Or more disturbingly, was this a reply? A signal responding directly to Earth's messenger? Then the real chaos began. As classified space documents leaked, the internet exploded. Headlines read, Voyager 2 detects interstellar signal. Alien tech or cosmic trap? NASA hides truth about Voyager anomaly? Terrifying space discovery may be first contact. Online theories multiplied. Some claim Voyager had entered a deep space quarantine zone, marked by civilizations long extinct. Others called it the WOW, Signal 2.0, except this time, it wasn't a whisper. It was a roar, a message. And it wasn't meant for Earth. It was meant for Voyager 2. Governments scrambled to do damage control. Emergency press conferences became the norm. Some leaders downplayed it as a cosmic coincidence. Others, like Germany and Japan, openly discussed planetary defense strategies. And on social media? Well, conspiracy theories were spreading faster than light. Some believed we had awakened an ancient alien machine. Others thought we were being tested by something far beyond human comprehension. But beneath all the debates and denials, one realization echoed across the world. We had spent centuries looking out into the stars, but now something was looking back and for the first time, Earth felt truly small. When science meets the unknown, theories multiply fast. And with Voyager 2, the possibilities are both fascinating and terrifying. The first wave of explanations leaned into nature. After all, space is still full of mysteries, and not every mystery means aliens, right? One leading theory was the galactic dynamo hypothesis. According to astrophysicists, there's a chance that millions of years ago, a series of supernovae exploded in close succession, magnetizing massive regions of interstellar plasma. Think of it like stirring a cosmic soup with magnets. These ancient remnants might now be interacting with Voyager 2's trajectory, producing cyclical bursts of energy as the probe drifts through charged filaments. The patterns could be natural, just extremely rare and poorly understood. Then came the black hole birth theory, Somewhere nearby, an invisible star might be collapsing into a singularity, forming a newborn black hole. In its earliest stages, such an event could emit strange forms of quantum distorted radiation, warping time and space. This might explain why Voyager 2 alone picked up the pulses. The radiation could be directional, narrow, and unstable. Another contender was the interstellar shock front theory. Voyager 2 may have drifted into a turbulent plasma filament, like a cosmic weather system. These shock fronts, formed by ancient stellar winds clashing over time, could create bursts of high-energy particles that look like signals, even when they're not. But then, the data got weirder. The energy spikes didn't just repeat, they evolved. Some sequences grew more complex, others mirrored binary encodings, even mimicking pulse rhythms similar to human-designed medisignals. And just like that, the conversation shifted from natural science to something else entirely. The first artificial theory, a cosmic beacon. If a distant civilization wanted to send a message across galaxies, pulsed particles might be the perfect medium, capable of traveling huge distances without being distorted by interstellar dust. The fact that the pulses mirrored known messaging structures, like Fibonacci sequences, prime numbers, and fractal patterns, suggested intent not just random energy, but design communication. Then came an even bolder theory. Voyager 2 may have awakened something. Picture this, somewhere in the vastness of space sits a dormant alien probe, ancient and silent, until something crosses its path. And that something is us. The idea isn't far-fetched. 
Even humanity has launched probes like Pioneer and Voyager with golden records meant for future civilizations. What if we just bumped into someone else's version of the same thing? A final and perhaps most haunting theory, the warning system. Imagine a network of devices scattered across space, built not to observe or welcome, but to warn. If a civilization once encountered something dangerous, cosmic predators, unstable regions, or rogue black holes, they might have scattered beacons through the void. And when Voyager 2 brushed against one, it didn't trigger a hello. It triggered a stay away. This theory gained traction fast. Some researchers pointed out the intentional nature of the pulse delay, almost like it was reacting to Voyager's approach. Others noted the energy levels were just high enough to be noticed, but not high enough to be damaging. It was as if the signal wanted attention, not destruction. And that brings us to the chilling truth. We still don't know what this is. Whether it's a glitch of nature or a message from something far beyond our understanding, one thing is clear. Voyager 2 didn't just stumble into deep space, it stumbled into a mystery, a mystery that now stares right back at us. When Voyager 2 detected the anomaly, it stopped being purely a scientific curiosity and became an alert. Suddenly, it was no longer about a lonely probe drifting somewhere in the void. Suddenly, it was about us, our safety, our infrastructure, and even our very biology. Should particles of high energy hit Earth in the same way they affected Voyager some time ago, the consequences would be relentless. This is to say, consider a radiation storm of far greater intensity than anyone could imagine. It would not be so sonorous and sightless, an invisible wave mutations and of frying satellites, wiping out global communications, and shutting down power grids in mere moments. Remember the Carrington event of 1859? A huge solar flare caused electric telegraph lines to flash and sparked fires. Now multiply that by a thousand and you will have an impression of the scale of devastation this anomaly could feel. But the risk doesn't stop at technology. At the biological level, these particles are DNA assassins. Astronauts aboard the ISS would be the first exposed. No time to shield them. On Earth, the atmosphere might absorb most of the blow. But ozone layers could thin and radiation levels could spike, triggering long-term health consequences, increased cancer rates, genetic mutations, even mass infertility and worst-case projections. This wasn't just theory. It was real enough to trigger global action. Within weeks of the anomaly being confirmed, power companies across the US, Europe, and Asia began hardening transformers, reinforcing the backbone of the grid. SpaceX pushed forward the deployment of next-gen satellites equipped with radiation shielding, while ESA accelerated its orbital defense protocols. What was once a slow march of innovation became a sprint for survival. NASA, for the first time, initiated work on interstellar weather forecasting models. The idea? To predict not just solar storms, but deep space radiation fronts. Satellites like ACE and SOHO, once tasked with solar monitoring, were retasked to scan the outer heliosphere for turbulence and unusual wave patterns. And while some nations focused on defense, others turned inward. Because beyond the tech and science, something deeper had started to settle in. Philosophical dread. For centuries, we've imagined ourselves as the center of progress, masters of Earth, explorers of the stars. But Voyager's discovery shattered that illusion. It reminded us that in the grand scale of the universe, we are fragile, barely holding on to a thin atmosphere wrapped around a pale blue dot. One rogue wave of energy, one pulse from an unknown source, and it goes out. Across social media and global forums, people began asking, what else is out there that we don't see coming? How many times have civilizations stared into the dark, unaware of what was watching them back? For scientists, this was a data crisis. For engineers, it was a design challenge. But for billions of people, it was something else entirely, a humbling realization. That space isn't just cold and empty. It's alive, it's unpredictable, and it doesn't care if we're ready or not. This was no longer a distant academic discussion. This was real. And the next time energy pulses through space, Earth might not be lucky enough to watch from afar.
It might be right in the path. As Voyager 2 drifted farther into the unknown, its once steady voice began to fade. After nearly five decades in space, its internal store of energy was running out. NASA had already shut down several instruments to conserve power for critical transmissions. Yet against all odds, it continued to speak. These final transmissions may be the most important message in human history. Engineers and astrophysicists started poring over every data packet, every burst of energy, and everything that signaled anomalies in Voyager's transmission. Some even felt that the clue to the decoding of the anomaly, some recognizable pattern that would confirm its origin, might be hidden in Voyager's very last pings. Like a dying witness scrambling to write a last minute warning, Voyager 2 was presenting us with a cosmic riddle that only Earth could solve. Even as systems dimmed, its legacy grew ever stronger. The enormity of what Voyager 2 had come up against, space agencies worldwide began fast-tracking plans that had been collecting dust for years. A new project, unofficially called Voyager 3.0, was pushed to the forefront in development. But this time, it wasn't just one probe. It was a fleet. Designed to withstand interstellar radiation, equipped with AI-driven anomaly detectors, and capable of mapping deep space turbulence, these next-generation explorers would seek to chart the vast cosmic unknown like never before. This wasn't about curiosity anymore. It was about defense, detection, and survival private companies joined in too. Elon Musk's SpaceX, India's ISRO, Japan's JAXA, and the European Space Agency began discussing open source designs for modular deep space scouts. The goal was simple but ambitious. Build the first interstellar warning network, a planetary immune system for cosmic threats. But Voyager 2's impact wasn't just technological or scientific, it was deeply human. Around the world, the anomaly sparked something we hadn't seen in years. Unity, not fear, not nationalism, but wonder. People began to imagine again. Poets, filmmakers, musicians, and digital artists turned to the stars with renewed curiosity. Museums ran Voyager retrospectives. Street murals popped up featuring the probe drifting through swirling fractals of deep space. Spotify saw a surge in playlists inspired by cosmic unknowns. One viral video featured a symphony composed using the anomaly's pulse pattern, turning fear into melody. Even politicians, normally locked in geopolitical games, started invoking the need for planetary thinking. For a brief moment, Earth wasn't a collection of borders. It was a single voice, whispering into the dark. And perhaps that's Voyager 2's greatest achievement. Not the data, not the discoveries, but the reminder that we are small, but not alone. That even across 18 billion kilometers, a human creation can still whisper home. That a machine born in the 1970s, running on memory smaller than a digital watch, could trigger the most profound cosmic conversation of our time. Voyager 2 may go silent soon, but it has already spoken louder than anything before it. And the echoes of its final words will guide generations that haven't even been born yet. Because Voyager didn't just explore space, it made Earth feel connected to the stars again. Voyager 2's discovery rewrote textbooks and our place in the cosmos. Was it a natural marvel or something far stranger? As the probe fades into darkness, its final message is clear. The universe is wilder than we dreamed. Stay curious, like, subscribe, and comment your theory below.